Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check book from Valiant Wings. Uh, this is updated and expanded version of the airframe and miniature number 4, so as you can see it's the second edition and it is dedicated to Hulker Tempest, so it might come handy with this recent release from Edward, as you remember we are building this model at the moment. You can find build review sessions on our YouTube channel as well. But this book will handy uh, will be handy in order to get a more detailed model out of any plastic. So it doesn't matter which scale you choose, still here you will find some interesting reference data for your build. So as you can see, print style is typical for Valiant Wings. We have soft cover. It is quite heavy and thick, I would say. Why? Because here we have um, quite a lot of pages, I guess it's 160 inside and now we are going to open it and check what is printed inside. So first of all we have the same pictures on the cover, here we have the contents section, so um, book structure will be typical for this series. First of all we have airframe chapters, so we have uh, several chapters dedicated to evolution of this aircraft, as you can see there are several versions uh, depending on the engine which was installed into this aircraft, then we have projects, camouflage and markings, cover profiles and also survivors. This is quite interesting section because it is dedicated to this aircraft which are existing nowadays. And here you can see also miniature chapters as well as appendices. This is a typical or I would say traditional feature of the books from Valiant Wings Publishing because here you get the kit list, accessory list, the Chaos list and also Tempest production together with bibliography. So let's move on. Here we have also glossary so that you understand what is uh, what this or that short um, designation means which is quite useful if you are not into the Royal Air Forces. And here we have the preface chapter which will be full with black and white photos as you can see. Of course we start with the development history so you have all the versions shown here and as you can see it goes from version to version so for example here we have the MK6 prototype then we have TT prototype MK5 etc etc this one is quite interesting I'm not even sure what is this it's annular coal and ducted spinner so basically there was no air intake from the bottom this one was working as your air, air intake as far as I understand so here you can see another one and then we continue with version which had the Centaurus engine installed and that's why it had the completely different layout as you can see there is no chin air intake anymore it is placed right here and this wide hole I would say silhouette of the aircraft became more streamlined, cleaned, because you don't have any um, protruding parts from the bottom or from the top. Then here we have projects. So here you would find various unusual versions of this aircraft. What about this one, for example? As you can see, it's Eagle project with air intake right behind the um, cockpit. Here we have the twin propeller so this one it was also twin propeller and here you can see the photo of this aircraft next we have camouflage and markings this one will be handy if you are not sure how to paint for example those invasion stripes then you will find the precise information here and you can see also we have various cover photos which will be handy for stencils placement of course we have profiles as well we have this stencils placement guide which is printed on separate uh, page and note that those drawings are actually in 170 second scale so you can use for example your plastic put it here and try to replicate some panel lines if they are not present in your plastic then we have several profiles and as for the profiles I think um, actually there is no precise information on how many profiles but as you can see there are several pages dedicated to this. So I guess if you are not sure 
on which marking to choose for your model, this one will be handy. And now we move to this survivors chapter. As you can see here, we have text combined together with photos. So you will know exactly what happened with this or that airframe and which ones are flying nowadays. And it is quite surprising. I won't be, let's say, spoiling information. So I recommend you to check it. Here we go on with Hawker Tempest kits. So this aircraft exists in all scales, even as you can see in 144 scale, this micro wing series from Revel. It was quite funny one. Uh, then we continue with 172. This one was built um, by us and you can find the build review on the website. Quite nice kit for beginners, I would say. Uh, then we continue with various old kits. Matchbox, Smear, uh, Revel, and Special Hobby. Then we have 148. So in 148, obviously, it will be, let's say, dominated by Edward. So we have these old offerings. They're really old. As you can see, even design is different from what we have today. Then we continue with new release. And here we can see Series 1, but there should be also Series 2 available at the moment when this review will be published. And next we continue with 130 second scale, which is dominated again by Special Hobby, another Czech manufacturer. As you remember, this kit was really great. There were several versions available, so you can replicate them um, even today. You can get it from official Special Hobby website. Uh, then we have the building section. So here we um, see author working on the Academy plastic and he tried to super detail it. Here we have Iron Master. I'm not even sure where to get such kit, but we have it built. Special Hobby 172nd. This one copies Tempest MK2. As you can see, slightly different calling shape. So it might be interesting for those people who would like to replicate some unusual uh, version. This is... Um, Edward Tempest MK5, but this is old plastic. Note the color of the plastic, so do not confuse it with a new release. As you can see, layout is different because um, it was it had a different parts division, etc., etc. And here we have the new plastic, gray colored plastic. That's a new release, and this one might be interesting as well, so that you can use some advices on how to build the model. So, as you remember, we stuck on the painting stage. I hope it will be over soon. And another build is a 130 second scale special hobby kit. It's Tempest MK5. It's a high tech kit, so it features several uh, additions inside the box. Out of the box, you get resin and PE. And as you can see, engine was replicated as well. Here we have quite a useful chapter, which will explain the main differences between various versions. So, I recommend to pay attention to this because mm, some features will be handy in order to build a more precise copy in whatever scale you would like to. And then we have also a chapter dedicated to cockpit and canopy. Here we have combination of the drawings and actual photos. You know that those are not only black and white photos but also color photos from um, museum aircraft. And as you can see, we have also some detail shots, which are quite useful for fine detailing. For example, here you can see the engine, so you will be able to copy the wiring and some additional features. Here we have the section dedicated to wing, again, combination of cover photos and drawings, radio and various equipment. Those are access panels, might be handy for those modelers who uh, like to replicate this thing on their models. Then we have the Tempest kit list, accessory list, Tempest decals list, and as you can see even new products are included here uh, which were released by Edward. Then we have Tempest production so that you know more about various airframes um, which um, are more or less documented anywhere. Here we have various books dedicated to this famous aircraft. And next we have 148 scale plants. As you can see, they're printed like this. 
and also we have plants printed in form of separate poster I'm not sure what scale is this ones these are also 148 scale plants so they will be handy for your build especially if you plan to build um, Edward kit so again in total we have 160 pages we have over 200 photographs including wartime images in black and white well, we have 25 pages of model builds, 5 pages of camouflage and markings, 20 pages of walk around images and technical diagrams, and first 40 pages were actually dedicated to the history of this aircraft type. In my opinion, it's quite a useful reference book for this aircraft. You get everything in one book, and price is quite reasonable. It's set at 19 British pounds. You can order it directly at Volant Wings publishing and you can also order some other books from this publisher as well because they have for example quite nice book about this aircraft type of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this book here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel uh, you can also support us financially by pressing the donate button on our website and i will see in the next video review as usual bye